Hey everyone, got a fun uh, test video here for you. So this is the EcoFlow Wave 2, and in our last test video, uh, which uh, I'll leave a link up in the top right corner and uh, down in the description, I tested this in my Honda Odyssey on a 93, 92 degree day, and uh, we tested to see its cooling capabilities in that vehicle without any modifications to the tubes, without any modifications to the car, just with what you had in the box and ran it and we checked out what happened. So be sure to check that out. Uh, in this video, we're going to test an EcoFlow Wave in a room that uh, has air conditioning, but I've shut it off for this test. So there's no air conditioning uh, coming into this room right now. Uh, today, uh, I'll put a screenshot up uh, right here, um, is uh, going to be in the 80s. And uh, so a good day to test this. As you can see, this is kind of an attic type room. So it's actually up in the attic. It's got um, no attic space above it. So it actually gets quite warm quite easily. However, substantially more insulated than say a tent or an RV or a car. Um, so the question is, you know, when you're not using the EcoFlow Wave 2 for camping or whatnot, uh, can it cool a room like this, like a bedroom? So this is a, a small bedroom. Please excuse the mess. This is my room that I do a lot of testing in at the moment. You can see, uh, you know, short ceilings um, and uh, and what have you. So. Anyway, not giant, certainly something I think that's in the wheelhouse for this wave to, to cool. Once again, I want to uh, do this testing with what comes in the box. I know there's a ton of people out there who have modified and tweaked things, you know, insulated uh, the hoses and everything, which is all a good idea. Uh, I'm not saying that's a bad idea, but uh, I want to just test, you know, I bought this with my own money. I want to just use it. I don't want to have to spend more money on top of what I just spent to, to you know, use it. So what can I use it for? So I've got the little foam insert that comes with it to vent it out the window. And then I've just stuffed a towel in the gap uh, to, you know, help keep the hot out. Obviously, you know, maybe some additional foam or something uh, there would be uh, definitely more advantageous than just a towel. But for this test, uh, we'll, we'll try it. If it cools this room on this hot day with just a towel uh, acting as the barrier, then certainly it would cool this room on a hot day when there's, you know, actual insulation board there or something. So uh, what we're going to be using um, to gauge this is this thermometer that's on the opposite side of the room. And notice that to vent out the windows um, and plug in, I've got the wave kind of aiming this direction. So uh, the air should kind of circulate around, uh, but I didn't want it right in the path that the EcoFlow wave was blowing. So you can see here um, at the moment, uh, we're at a fairly comfortable 74.1 degrees. So uh, that's our, going to be our starting temperature in this space. We're going to fire this up. We're going to run it on uh, turbo mode. We discovered in the last video that that made the biggest impact as far as cooling went, contrary to what uh, some people have said, uh, slowing the fan down, making things colder. Uh, I, uh, on my particular unit at least, I've found that uh, running it on turbo mode is the most powerful, uh, most cooling power that you can get uh, mode. So anyway, uh, we're going to run this. Uh, we're going to run it for an hour and uh, and then we're going to see uh, what uh, kind of temperature differential uh, it makes, if any. Does it go down? Does it go up? Uh, what uh, What is it? It's just about one o'clock in the afternoon. So this is about the hottest that it's going to be today. And uh, so this is a perfect time to test this. So let's uh, get right into it. I think I had it on turbo mode cooling last. Yes, I did. And there it goes. So you can see we're max. I've got it cranked all the way down to 60. And uh, you know, fan speed max, obviously uh, max over here. It is plugged into AC wall power. Uh, in another test video that I'll also link down below, uh, we checked to see if there was any temperature difference as far as what temperature the air is coming out versus doing AC power versus DC power, and there was hardly any difference at all. 
So anyway, for this test, uh, we're just doing AC power because if you're using it in a bedroom situation like this, you probably will be plugging into AC power and not running it off a power station or its battery. So uh, with that uh, being said, let's pull up a um, stopwatch here and uh, we're going to start the time right now and uh, we're going to come back in an hour and we're going to see how uh, much of a difference it's made in this room. Stay tuned. It has been officially over one hour. Uh, this uh, EcoFlow Wave 2 has been running on max mode outside uh, the uh, temperatures are in the mid 80s at the moment. So not uh, crazy hot, uh, but uh, plenty warm. Anyway, let's see what uh, the results are. There we go. 67.6 so we started at 74.1 now we're down to 67.6 so uh, can the EcoFlow wave keep a you know somewhat um, difficult to cool room cool on a hot day the answer is yes uh, without any problems at all uh, on high so anyway uh, very impressive and uh, great performance. Anyway, be sure and uh, comment down below uh, what other tests you'd like to see done uh, with this EcoFlow Wave. I'd like to try another test just like this uh, in a couple of months when it's cold out and uh, we can test the heating performance uh, of this uh, unit uh, in the same room. I've done testing in a car and uh, I'd like to do a testing in a tent at some point. That might have to be next year because time of year to camp is uh, swiftly coming to a close here where I live. But anyway, please uh, leave down your comments uh, down below for uh, tests you may like to see, locations, uh, types, and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, work that into the video schedule. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.